guys welcome back in this video we are going to learn how to integrate Jenkins and github using SSH keys so if you look at this diagram what we are actually going to do is we are going to configure Jenkins to use SSH keys whenever Jenkins is going to check out code from github okay so we want to completely avoid using username and password in Jenkins uh, job in order to check out the code okay and this is actually one of the best practices okay awesome so let's get started if you look at the prerequests yes i do have jenkins so this is my jenkins up and running and i also have a credential plugin already installed so when i say credential plugin it's nothing but if you go to manage jenkins manage plugins if you go to install tab if you type credential so you see here so basically whenever you set up Jenkins, right? Suggested plugin to install, when you choose that option, this plugin will be automatically installed. If it is not installed, you know, you can install that separately, okay? Awesome. So I do have those pre-requests already, uh, you know, set up. Now I'm gonna show you how to integrate uh, GitHub and Jenkins, okay? So what we are actually going to do first, we need to go to uh, Jenkins EC2 instance and then create SSH keys. Okay, we are going to execute this command. All right, so this is my, you know, Jenkins EC2 instance where, you know, I am connected using Git, Git Bash. So I'm going to create SSH keys by executing that command, SSH key gen. Enter, enter, enter. So now SSH keys has been created. So if I go inside the dot .ssh folder, <coughs> you are going to see two different keys, right? One is the public key and then this is a private key. So what we have to do is we have to uh, print the public key and then we have to upload the public key into GitHub, right? So this is our public key. Okay, so let me go ahead and then copy the public key. Let me expand this so that we can see it better. Let me go ahead and then copy the keys. So that's my public key and then go to your github so let's say that this is the uh, repo i want to check out in my jenkins job so what you'll have to do go to the repo so i'm actually in my repo and then go to repository settings and then click on deploy keys and then add deploy key okay and then you can go ahead and then paste the public key over here and then you can give some title. You can say my Jenkins SSH keys, okay? And then if you want to give write access, you can actually do that. I do not recommend it, uh, but it's up to you. You know, you can give write access. So whenever you enable this option, it means that you would be able to check in, check out, uh, you know, from this repository from Jenkins EC2 instance. If you want, you know, you can do that. Okay. If you want to check out the code, if you want to check in the code, then you can go ahead with this option. Okay. Uh, but, but it's okay. I mean, you know, you, know you, you can do that. Okay. But if you don't want to give right access, then, you know, just uncheck this option. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to give right access. So I'm going to go like this. So click on add key. Awesome. So now we have uploaded public keys into GitHub repository. Okay, perfect. Now let's go back to our steps. Okay, so, so far so good. And then what we have to do is, we are going to add the private key in the Jenkins UI. Okay, so how do I get the private key? So this is the private key, right? So that's the private key. So I'm going to copy the private key and then go to my Jenkins and uh, go to manage Jenkins, manage credential and then click on global add credentials and then choose this option ssh username with the private key right okay and then you can give any username okay username doesn't matter you can give any username username doesn't matter in the description you can say uh, my uh, jenkins private keys and then click on enter directory option and then click on add and then paste the private key here, okay? So make sure whenever you copy the private key, make sure you know you are copying the whole content, including the beginning and then including the you know end line, okay? Awesome, and then click on okay. 
Awesome. You see here, right? So we have successfully uploaded private key into Jenkins credential. Okay, perfect. Now I should be able to create a job. I should be able to use those credential while checking out the code. Okay. So let me go ahead and then create a job and uh, let me give some name, my first automate job, click on a free sale project, click on okay. And then go to source code management and click on git. So, so basically this is the repo I wanted to check out, right? So copy that, mention the repository URL and then in the drop down, oh, sorry. So, okay, no, this is wrong. We should not use the HTTPS URL, right? We have to use the SSH URL, right? You see here SSH and then copy that. I'm sorry about that. <coughs> so mention that, you know, SSH URL here. Okay, so we need to copy the SSH URL. And then in the drop down, you just have to select that key. See, the moment you select the key, that issue is gone. If you don't select the key, obviously it's going to error out, right? So make sure you select the key. Uh, I mean, this is what we have added as part of the managed credential, right? Okay. And then the branch name is, I believe it is main and we can double check that. Yeah, so this is the main. So that's it, right? Okay. And then click on apply and save. Let's click on build now just to make sure that, you know, we are able to build this successfully. Perfect. Can you all see here? Yes, we are able to build this successfully, right? So how will you do in case of, you know, if you're using a pipeline, let me also show you real quick, go to new item. Let's say you're clicking on uh, my first pipeline job and click on pipeline. Let's create a pipeline, right? Uh, and then say, sorry, say, okay. And then go to pipeline. So let's say if we want to use a declarative pipeline, so let me actually add a stage call, let's say checkout. So I want to actually generate the code for checkout, right? So click on pipeline syntax and then here choose checkout from version control. And then let's mention the repo URL. Again, it has to be a SSH URL. Uh, mention that and then choose the credential just like that. And then the branch should be main, okay? And then generate pipeline script, copy the pipeline script, and then go back to the job, paste that and then click on apply and save. Click on build now. Let's see. Wow, see here? So I'm able to, you know, successfully check out using SSH credential as you can see here, right? Right? To add folks, let's say that you have several repository in your GitHub, right? So whichever the repository you have, if you want to use SSH keys, then you'll have to go to respective repository and then you'll have to add, uh, you know, the deploy keys, right? So you'll have to go to the repository settings go to SSH, uh, sorry, go to deploy keys, and then you should upload your SSH keys here in order for your Jenkins job in order to check out it, okay? So so that's the only thing, right? So, so make sure you, you add that, okay? So yeah, so that's it, guys. You know, that's how you would be able to uh, configure SSH keys in order to check out code from GitHub. Thank you for watching.